In this video, we're going to take a look at how to export our model from Plasticity to Blender without using the bridge. So what I want to do is come up here and go to Export, and I want to set this to OBJ, and I want to export it as Sprocket 1 in this case. So when we do this, we're going to get our Export Object panel, and I want to take a look at these settings. So, for one thing, if we just take a look at our model, this is one of the reasons why they say that they don't like to use CAD to Polygon, because you get these little triangular slivers, and we really don't want those. But one thing that Blender does want is when you have these islands, like you see here, there needs to be a connection to the outside face, or you'll end up getting artifacts. So, what we really want to do is we want to export this model to represent it as closely as possible, but without having any artifacts. So what we're gonna do is, one of the things you wanna use pretty much, unless you plan on deforming an object or adding a subdivision surface modifier to it, you wanna use N-Gons. And I know there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna fuss over this and say, oh, you know, you, you can't use N-Gons and this, that, and another, but trust me, you can. Now, if you were going to make it this deform, if it were organic, something like that, then no, you don't want ingons. But in this case, it's hard surface modeling, so it doesn't matter. So let's take a look. So this is what I was talking about with the islands. There's a connection. As long as there's connections, you should be okay. But let's take a look at refining the model so that we get the best results we can. So one of the things that I use is the, the min width and the max width. So if we turn these on, now we're going to notice that our model just pretty much got trashed. So first thing I want to do, I want to set this to 0 0.0001. So now all of a sudden, all of our circular areas are circular. We've gained more definition to them and it looks much better. The next thing that we're going to look at is going to be the max width. Now, because we were at 0 0.0001, we want to make this one 0 0.001. Now, when we did that, you'll notice that now all of a sudden we got these square polygons on the face, all the flat surfaces. Well, this is good because what it does is it connects all these floating islands and that's going to actually solve our problem of having different artifacts inside a blender. So another thing we want to look at, it, they say that this is useful for getting more quads or n-gons. So what I want to do is set this to 0 0.1. So now that we have that set, I think we're pretty much good to go. So let's take a look at this in Blender. So we're going to export that, and I'll see you when I get Blender open. So now let's go File, Import, OBJ. We're going to bring in our sprocket. So here we are inside of Blender with our sprocket. Now one of the things you'll notice is that our sharp edges are sharp. All of our rounded edges are rounded. And we don't have any artifacts whatsoever. So this model would be good to go. We could print this, we could do whatever we need to do. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.